And the wait is finally over. After years of work, the Little Shoot windmill is finally open for tours. Pauline is checking it out this morning. Hi, Pauline. Hey, do you guys see it spinning behind me? We got a nice wind going today, so we thought we'd, you know, turn it on, see how it works. And here to tell us more about it, one of our tour guides today. We got Larry. Good morning, Larry. Good morning. All right, let's talk about this windmill. We're talking decades of process planning and construction. Yes, it was a lot of hard work by the windmill committee to get this all to pull together and uh, get this actually running today. It's really a really special <laughs> occasion for me. I know my father had a lot of time and my mother had a lot of time getting this event to happen and a lot of other people in our community. So mm -hmm. it's a special day for me to, to be here and to be able to show off the place. Let's just talk quickly about the process. All of this came from Holland. This is almost an exact replica of what it looked like in the 1850s, 60s? Yeah, 1868. This was a replica of an 1868 windmill. Um, the wood that, that the mill is made from comes from several different countries. Uh, it comes from Africa, Russia, the Mediterranean, the United States. So it's definitely uh, uh, a world event here with all the different types of wood that we have here. Mm -hmm. And of course, obviously in the 1860s, no electricity. This is actually a working windmill producing flour, all using wind. Yes, a lot of people think that there's an electric motor that turns the blades and they want to know why it's not turning a lot of times. <laughs> uh, when we trained on the windmill, uh, we trained for two and a half weeks and we actually had the blades only turn 750 times. Uh, we trained in July mm -hmm. and it was very low wind, so mm -hmm. it was hard for us to, to get to, to the actual training that we need. Mm -hmm. So yeah, definitely a, a less windy month in July. So how long would it take to make, say, a bag of flour for cake? Uh, okay, so the mill produces about 500 pounds of, uh, of flour in about an hour. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm figuring uh, roughly 30 seconds, maybe 40 seconds to make a, you know, a pound of flour for a cake. So Not bad, guys. 30 seconds or so, not bad. Yeah, once the mill's running, you know, at full ca capacity. So Let's talk about today. We got tours today. They start at 10 o'clock? Yes, they start at 10 o'clock and they run until uh, 3 o'clock. And it's mm -hmm. first come, first serve. You got to come and sign up. And uh, you know the first people that are on the list, and you sign up for a time that you're going to be here, and, mm -hmm. and we're going to bring uh, 20 people into the mill, and we'll take 10 at a time uh, onto the mill deck itself, so people will actually be able to come up and see the inside workings of the mill. Uh, and today, it's important to note, today you're taking donations. Today's not the official opening of the windmill. No, today is a dedication of the plaza that we have between the, the village hall and the windmill. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to have a dedication <laughs> at 4 o'clock. We hope to have the blades turning again uh, with the weather forecast. It looks like it's going to be windy. So uh, we should definitely be able to do that. Um, but yes, donations are being accepted. Um, I believe, I can't remember what the number is, but they are still a little short on, uh, on the completion of the cost of the windmill. So they are definitely accepting uh, donations. And next spring is officially when it next opens. Next spring is going to be the official opening of the, of the windmill itself. All right, we're going to head inside. But again, today, you got to take the tour today. Otherwise, you have to wait until next spring if you want to see the inside of the windmill. We're heading inside. We'll give you a sneak peek on what it looks like inside coming up next. Can't wait. Thanks, Pauline.